Okay, I'm at the Freehold Mall in Freehold, New Jersey. I just pulled into the me, uh, and, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pull up to there. To the, see that uh, that big glass area to the, to the right of it. I've ministered there many many times to young kids, and they've been healed. And also in the parking lot with uh, a video where some young kid's arm was busted in like eight or nine different places, and he was healed. It was amazing. He it was it's a really cool video. Okay, let's see. I'm I'm gonna. I'm pulling up to this area. Let me see if there's any kids up here that are hanging out. Sometimes they just hang out, but I guess now that school has started and the time of day, there might not be so many. But I'll see when I get over here. From my view right here, it doesn't look like there's any there. And uh, it's over here. It's over here to the to the left, right over. Here is where a bunch of young people hang out, right over there, but upstairs. I don't see any hanging out there now. So I'm gonna drive a little further, see if there's any hanging out on the other side of the mall. Okay, I'm, I'm driving to the other side of the mall, looking for some more, looking around for some young people that I can go minister to that are just hanging out, you know? That's what I, I like to minister to young people that are just hanging out. It's like as if the Lord has assembled them for me. But I wanted to read a scripture verse real quick. Acts 4.33 says, And with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. All right, let me read that again. And with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. So so I want to I wanna try, I want to, not try, I'm going to make that scripture verse a reality. All right? And so when, when somebody gets healed, it's a witness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen? So let's just keep on, let's, let me drive a little further. Turn this off while I'm driving so I don't cause an accident. Uh, yeah, so I'm at the mall and I'm, and I'm gonna walk, well, I'm on the totally opposite side of where I was in the beginning. I'll walk over here and see if there's any people hanging out here, so. Here's some young people. If they stay right there, it's a group of young people. Looks like they might be getting away. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, you guys. Can you guys do me a favor real quick? Oh, so cute. I'm making a, <coughs> I'm making a movie. Can I, <coughs> can I ask you guys a couple questions about God? Do you guys believe in God? Yeah. You, so you believe in Jesus? What, what, does everybody everybody believe in Jesus? Yeah. What, I have what my you, doubts. <laughs> you had your doubts? Yes. You, you know, the Everyone reason... Knows. Uh, yeah, you know, um, Jesus loves to confirm who he is with power. All right? And uh, I do miracles in his name. If you got, He loves everybody here. He loves all you guys. If, if you, any of you guys have anything wrong with you, any pain or sickness, he'll heal you right now. To show that you'll know, feel more secure about his his reality. Do you have any pain in your body anywhere? No, we're pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't. Any pain or pain, like, uh, sickness? Physical pain. physical pain. Yeah, any physical pain anywhere? Not really. I'm fine. You? Yeah. You good? Yeah. So so and uh, uh no like uh, you get any headaches or anything like that? I feel like there might be something wrong with you, like something where that bothering you. She's tired. Are you t you're tired? <laughs> Are you stressed out? A little bit. Yeah, you know what? God loves to show it. Can you do me a favor and hold that? Yeah. It's on record already. You know, God loves to show his his power and his and, and his presence to show you how much he loves you. I want to pray for him for his presence to come upon you so that you will know that it's real and it's gonna make you feel peaceful and the stress that's in you is gonna go away. Okay. Alright? So Holy Spirit, confirm that what I'm saying is true right now by bringing your fire and your power upon her so that she will know that you love her, Lord. I command all stress and anxiety to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, I take authority over you. Satan, you're a liar. You're the one who brings on stress and anxiety, so leave her now. You can't have her. Jesus loves her and Jesus, your sins are forgiven. So bring that fire upon her now, Holy Spirit. You feel any heat and tingling going right now anywhere in you? I heard tingling in my hands. Yeah, tingling in your hands right now? Yes. So so I command all stress and anxiety to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. 
and he has forgiven you of your sins, and he loves to show his power so that you'll know that, all stress and anxiety and condemnation and guilt go in Jesus' name, and peace be established. Jesus said, my peace I give with you, give you, and my peace I leave with you. So you still feeling that? No. No? The tingling is gone? Yes. But do you feel like more relaxed right now? I guess so, yeah. yeah you feel more relaxed, right? So more, do you feel like a lightness about you right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a light. When the Holy Spirit comes on a person, they start to feel like light. You know? Yeah. So see, that was something, right? That was a manifestation. And you feel more you feel more confident now that God loves you? Yeah. Ain't that cool? Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever have you guys ever experienced anything like that before? But you know, um, so what what makes you how do you know that you know Jesus? How, how do you know you know him? Um history, like what we've been taught. You know? What you've been taught. Yeah. You know the Bible says the Bible says uh we know that we have come to know him if we obey his commandments and his commandment was simple he said live by the law of love to love people and forgive people you know that's what his command that's his commandment live by the law of love it's not rules and regulations you can't you can't be approved by god by following rules and regulations and because when you do that you're always afraid that he's going to strike you if you do something wrong but he's not like that. God is a loving, patient God. He loves everybody and, and, and wants everybody to know that. So you don't gotta feel condemned when you do something wrong, or you know? Are so, you a Catholic? I'm a Christian, I, I believe in Jesus, you know, he's real. You know, it's like, I don't, so I, I don't follow a religion, I follow a person, because okay. he's real, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, so, so God bless you guys. You know, you guys have a good day, and uh, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. You guys are all good though? Yeah. Everything else? Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys. Hi. Thanks. Sure. I'm making a movie about God. Uh -huh. In uh, I I uh, because I, I I minister God's healing power to people because God loves everybody. Right. And so I just wanted to know, what do you guys think about Jesus? Ooh. What do you think about Jesus? Do you think Jesus, He I loves think, you? Yeah. I think. Well, my personal thoughts are. There's a God and the, the, the devil and Jesus, and he resurrected. Right. And he does love everybody, and everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Cool. What about you? How do you what do you think about that? About Jesus? Yeah. Um, I'm, I, believe, I believe Jesus is good, but I'm more of a God person. I feel like Jesus hasn't done so much that he can to this world. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I think about Jesus? The Bible says that uh, the Bible teaches that that Jesus has has put us in charge when he when he left when when you're a believer G, when you believe in Jesus he comes to live in you and and then he ascended into heaven he put us in charge so we're supposed to take authority over all the work of the enemy and that's what I do like if you guys have anything any pain or sickness in your body he'll heal you right now to show you that what I'm saying is true do you have any pain I mean I'm too, like real pain like yeah you have any physical heart? pain somewhere or even heart pain um, the flu, like you have the sick? flu yeah. yeah watch this hold this okay. it's on record and now watch i'm gonna i'm gonna miss you you're gonna feel the presence of god come upon you all right so i take authority over that flu and i command it to go now in jesus name i take authority over all of your works satan you're a liar loose your hold of her jesus is lord jesus loves you flu go in jesus name i command all sickness to go and healing to come now in Jesus name because Jesus loves you and he's already done the work and I'm doing the work through he's doing the work through me just like I said to you how are you feeling right now so I'm a sore throat. <laughs> well it's gonna go away sore throat go in Jesus name it's going away right now as a matter of fact it's getting better right now just to because he confirms that what I'm saying is true You still feel the same? Yeah, I still have a stuffy nose. Okay, all stuffiness go in Jesus' name. I take authority over stuffiness. I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command a complete healing to come in Jesus' name. I take, a, I cancel all of your work, devil, in Jesus' name. Stuffiness go and soreness go. Sore throat go in Jesus' name. Be healed now. The kingdom of God has come upon you. Be healed. <laughs> How's it feeling now? I feel a little better after 
honest with you. It's a little bit better now? Yeah, I feel really good. It's, it's, did you feel any heat coming in? Do you feel warm right now or any tingling in you? I feel warmer. I don't know if it's because of the sun. Warm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, kind of, it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, but, it's but, So you felt like you felt something going on there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, isn't it crazy? I told yeah. you, it's so cool. God is real and he loves you. And that's what I mean by how, like, how Jesus, he puts us in charge. And so we're to, we're to take authority over all the work of the devil. The flu is not from God. Right. Flu is from the devil. He loves you. Now, of course, we live in physical bodies, so the, the flesh is weak, you know, in a... But, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you're not trying to give yourself the flu. I mean, who wants to give themselves the flu? So like that, what the devil does is he, he tries to get you, he tries to fill you with stress and anxiety and get you to not take care of yourself so that you'll get sick. So he has a big hand in it, all right? So how are you feeling now? I feel good, to be honest with you. I have like, I have sinus pains, but now it feels like it's gone. It's gone out yeah. of science pains and your throat is not as sore? No, it's not. It clear. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. And now, you see, I, I, the devil tried to discourage me because after the first time I prayed for her, and, and you know, I want to notice, I want to point out something else, that, that God even ministered to you when you're smoking a cigarette, you know? A lot of religious people would think that God's not going to minister to somebody smoking a cigarette because they think you shouldn't be smoking a cigarette, but God doesn't condemn you for smoking a cigarette. Right? Yeah. yeah. You know, but now, uh, with that, I'm not condoning smoking cigarettes because we already know that cigarettes is bad for us. So I'm not condoning it, but the Bible says it is not what goes into a man's mouth that makes him unclean. It so is it what comes, comes out. out of, right? Yeah. Doesn't it say that? So, yeah. like, you know, so, like, it, it's, it's out, of the, out of the mouth, the heart speaks. No, out of the heart, from the, from the heart, the mouth speaks. Because out of the heart comes adulteries and, and thievery and, and, and stealing and lying, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so Are see. you a minister? Yes. I've seen some crazy yeah. stuff happen. Yeah, well, you good have? crazy. Good yeah. For, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the word crazy, I say the word crazy all the time. I say, ain't that crazy all the time? Because yeah. the word crazy means good. Yeah. We live in America. Good means good. Bad means good. Hot means good. Cool means good. Crazy <laughs> means good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Well, like, the like my sister when she had postpartum depression when she was well, after she gave birth right and uh what happened she would have like bad thoughts about like my nephew yeah and just one day she was like you know what in Jesus' name i'm not going to feel this way about my baby anymore and then she never felt any bad feelings towards him after that there you go she had faith to believe that that works she's you know it there's power in the words we speak mm -hmm. you know that's why, you know, it's like God spoke the world into existence. He said, let there be light, and there was light. He spoke everything into existence, and, and God lives in you as a believer. So when you speak, your words have power as long as you believe that. It's all up here. Mm -hmm. You have to renew your mind. So you read the Bible. You read, read the Bible, mostly the New Testament, and renew your mind so that your mind gets convinced of what I'm saying to you is true. You know, and then you'll have authority. You'll have authority to not let the devil push you around, and you'll know who you are in Christ. It's so cool. <laughs> it's hey, incredible. yeah, well, God bless you too. Thank you oh, for. Uh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Uh, bye, ladies. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. All right. That was so cool. I'm walking back to my Jeep now, and uh, that was a great situation because the devil tried to. He tried to freak me out when she felt absolutely nothing after the first prayer, after the first time I ministered to her. And okay, I'm stopped at a light real quick, but I'm gonna take, a, I'm gonna make one more pass to the other side of the mall where I first came in to see if that hangout spot's got any kids. So let me just turn this off until I get there. I'm here on the other side and there's nobody hanging out by the steps, so I'm gonna just, go no one hanging out here so I'm just gonna head out of the mall and as I'm driving down the highway going towards home I'll look for more situations all right all right I'm like 10 minutes further down the road and I pulled into this lot because I see a group of young kids over here over there so I'm gonna get out of the Jeep and go up there and hopefully they'll still be there when I get over there okay Hey, you guys, can you guys do me a favor real quick? I'm making a movie. Can you, I'm making a... 
he don't want to be involved. Can you can you can you yeah, guys still record me real quick? In uh, it's about Jesus. No. You guys don't want to be involved in a movie about Jesus? No. All right, you guys have a good day. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> They're still walking down. I'm not gonna put the. Okay, I'm gonna head back into my Jeep and look for another situation since that didn't go too well. <laughs> okay, there's a couple of guys on the other side of my Jeep. I'm gonna go up to them real quick and ask them. Okay, I'll put the camera down while I'm going over there. Hey, you guys. Do you guys mind? Do you guys mind if I ask you a couple of questions? I already, I already did that. Oh, that's right. I know you. Yeah. yeah what happened with you? Uh, what, 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 what? When was it? Yeah, uh, yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. Wait, um, I can't believe I'm forgetting this already. What, what, what happened though? Uh, yeah, you were sitting on the bench over there, and your yeah. friends' uh, ears he were. You, can I ask you what you guys think about Jesus? Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm making a movie. You're making a movie? Is that what you're yeah, I'm making a movie. Uh, yeah. can, can I can I ask you something? Can I interview and ask you what you think I, about I Jesus? I'm not videotaping, to be okay. honest. Okay. Can, can I ask you a couple questions about Jesus? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to videotape. Yeah. Alright, I'll tell you what. Wait, what's the videotape? I'm making a movie about Jesus. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't you record me, and I'll ask you a question about him. Because I want I want to, I want to, uh, people to know that, that... I want people to know that Jesus loves them. You know, so that's that's why I make movies about Jesus. So what do you what do you think about Jesus? I don't know. He's real. He's the Savior. He and, died for you, our sins. Right. Uh, Amen. Do you believe yeah, that about yes, him? Yes, I do actually. He's the Savior, and he died for your sins. On the cross. All right, and he you know he was resurrected from the dead also. And the Bible says that what? that uh, that that ap the apostles went around. They went around doing uh, showing great power to prove that he ro rose from the dead. You know, so like, like just like yesterday with your friend, and your friend was ministered to, where he felt a tingling going through his body, and heat, and the pain, and, and his and, and his ears were feeling tingling. Do you guys do you guys know who Jesus is? What what? Do you, how do you guys know that you know Jesus? <laughs> I'm, I'm making a movie about Jesus. Oh, this is your camera. This is my camera. I'm making a movie about Jesus. What? Do, how do you guys know that you know Jesus? What? How do you know? How do you know that you know him? He speaks to me every night. Does he? But, but how do you know that you know him? <laughs> you, just wow. answer, you just answered his question. You, you, well, well, you know what? I'm not gonna, I believe you because he speaks to me too, but he doesn't speak to me audibly. I hear him in my spirit, you know? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll sense his presence and stuff. You know, and like, like, I go around proving that he's real by healing people. In his name. Like, if you guys have anything wrong with you, he'll heal you right now. How do you know? Yeah. yeah like you got any that. pain? No. You got pain anywhere in your shoulder? You just move your shoulder around? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. God, God loves you. Watch this. God loves him. All right? And and the, the apostles showed power to prove that Jesus rose from the dead. God, God is healing your shoulder right now. All right? I command that pain to leave your shoulder now. Move your shoulder around. Watch. Yo. <laughs> it feels better? <laughs> nah. -uh. Ain't that crazy? It feels better, right? <laughs> Do you feel any did you feel any heat and tingling in your shoulder? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought <laughs> See that freaked him out because it was real. Yo, Joe, can he ever ride to Mike's house? Him yeah. Ain't that crazy guys? Yeah. So God's like, real. like, what do you do? Like, are you, I just, a, you, I, I, are you a pastor or something? Or? No, I'm a minister. I'm a minister. minister. But I really believe it's all up here. Exactly. I really of, believe. There's a lot of fake people who say they believe in Jesus. Right. They're hypocrites. So, like, there definitely is, and like people try to preach it. And stuff. Right. Yeah. They, they they're hypocrites. They 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 preach it, but they don't live up to it. You know, Jesus said, "Live by the law of love." You know, it's like I I go around. I love people. You guys have any pain you need healed? What? Any pain? Any pain you need healed? Oh, I'm good. God, yeah, God is here <laughs> and he heals people of pain and sickness. <laughs> Amen. Hey guys, God bless you guys. And hey, you guys have a good day. You too. Thanks for your help. All right.